And if you don't want to do this, you don't have to, because it really doesn't get an over 20 rating. Actually, hold on here, let me look at it. No, it still doesn't. But I, I, this is gonna work. So I think this works, it's gonna drop. We'll do it today. If you wanna do half size, fine. I think the setup might be hard. So I might be a little. I don't know if this is going here without this. Hmm. And here it goes, look at this. When we're done today, we'll review the market. Tomorrow's going to be the big day with the banks, earnings season starting, and we'll be happy. I'm happy out of anything here. Actually, let's look at the market quick. I don't know what we do today. We rallied yesterday. We even held in the queues. So we're shorting STX today. If you're here in the open house, just observe. If you don't want to do this, because it's not a highly rated gap. You can sit on the sidelines today or do half size. So we're look here for the SPY. Big econ out tomorrow. Look for a gap up in the market tomorrow morning. Oh, we could be going long tomorrow. Yeah, I'm just thinking that now out loud. We could be going long tomorrow. The banks report and I bet, I bet they gap up. We'll look at those when we're done. Here, pay attention. STX, um, this already is at the first target right here. I put it in the room. <laughs> so 37 is the next number. I said, look, 37.50 there, it's there. So actually all the resistance levels I have are completely skewed now. Just follow me here if you want to do this today. coffee. I don't have time to get downstairs and get any or make it. Busy morning. It's a little spready in here. Just let it situate itself. Here it goes. I didn't, there's no entry in here yet because we're not shorting something on the open, but this is going to work. Uh, this is going to be a way bigger stop than I thought. Okay. I'm not calling anything in this yet. No one should be in it yet. There's no entry yet. Just wait. This is gonna be a big stop, people. 29 by 20, 29 by 20. Gosh, do we wanna do that here? Don't, don't do that. Let's wait and see if we can find something better. It's a buck. Just wait and see if we can find a better entry. Okay, no one should be in this yet. And what I just said, don't do it because it's just too big. And also this is thinning out, so. I did say this is probably gonna work, but set up hard. Okay, no one should be in it yet. And I don't know if it's gonna set up, but it hasn't set up yet, and no one should be in it yet. If this doesn't set up, then we don't have anything today. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, stop's gonna be 3820. We are going to do I don't have the entry yet. Let's 
do 74 by 20 if it hits. And if that doesn't hit, I'll give you something else. Wow, and if it flies over the high, then we may not be able to do it. No, just wait. Ah, oh, crap. Well, this is why you do not get in a stock in the open. You don't take it on the first bar. Here, wait. Okay, we're going to do 79 by 40. 79 by 40. And don't ask me why right now. 79 by 40. And it's just not going to be... Here, 79 by 40 if it hits. STX. Here, there, get it. Get it right now. Get the stop in. Get it in. That was it. That was it. Wow, didn't even get the stop in yet. 3840. 3840 is a stop. Be in it right there. And we're going to get it down and see if it goes down to 37 and then we're all out of it. Here, be in it. I was on top of this. Wow, 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 wow. In fact, if it gets down to the low and doesn't break it, we're out. Let's double check the stop. Well, I can still do it here. I don't want to give it any more run. 38.40. It's boom or bust with this. If this doesn't work, it's not going to work at all. But actually, that was a good entry. And if you didn't do it, you could do it. Here, you could do it right here if you didn't do it. If you didn't do it, you could still do it right here. It looked like it was going to collapse right there. It, it did actually have a big bar. But here, if you did not do it, you could do it here. Make sure you get the stop in at 38.40. We're not giving it any more room. And if this doesn't work, there's nothing else to do today. So I hope that it does. You know what, let's give it 10 more cents. I don't think it's gonna matter here, but let's give it 38.50. I'm gonna give it 10 more cents here, just because this is a little bit wild. If you don't want to, you don't have to. It's only because the spread's changing so much, from two cents to five cents to 10 cents. I moved it to 38.50, but this really has to hold. And if you didn't do it, I'll give you another entry. Actually, it'll be the same one, or very close to it. Here, you can do 89 by 50 if you didn't take it. 89 by 50 if you didn't take it at all, STX. It's been a long time since I've traded this stock. I forgot how wild it is. This is just how this stock trades. Okie dokies. All right, here's the market, here's the market. The market looks higher. Wow, if we rally on the placement of the gap today, we are so strong. And I really didn't think we'd do it until tomorrow. Guess we're gonna find out here if STX is gonna hold. Would have preferred the market to be lower today with this. So let's look and see where we bounced. 3732. anything okay if you're in it I move the stop I give it a little bit more room but it's do or die now 38.50 for STX if you did not do it if it sets up again I will call it it's the only thing we had to watch today and actually if it doesn't work it's because it went to the target in the pre-market which kind of sucks but still worth doing I think it's going to work, but it's, it's going to be hard. What did I say this morning? This is probably going to work, but it's going to set up hard. That's exactly what I said. I said this is probably going to work, but it's going to be tough to get the entry. It's going to set up hard. It's exactly what I said. This is probably going to work, but it's going to be tough to get. It's going to set up hard. <laughs> I can't look at anything else right now, Koala Bear, because this is too wild. If you did something else, you're on your own. And I honestly don't want to do anything else today anyways. Because if this stops me, I'll take a loss today and I'll just stop. I guess we're going to find out any second. I do not want to do any other trades today. There wasn't. You don't do a lot of trades normally, A. And B, when there's not a lot to do, why would you keep trading? If you did T and it worked, get out with profit.
And I took a chance doing this today because it, it really it rated only 18. Okay, if you did not do STX, you can do in here, stop 38.50. If you didn't do it, here's another entry right in here. You can wait for the break of 38. So actually looking at this here now, our first target will be the 37.50 number if this holds. I, I don't know if it's going to get all the way down and break the low. Very strong market. Here, STX, if you didn't do it, you could do it right here. Stops 38.50. The better entry than I did. Here, I'll look at T quick. Uh, T had one quick move. If you did it, I'd be out. Actually, this really, we didn't miss anything here. This is only 10 cents. We didn't miss anything there. I just want this to work. Okay, STX under 38, we should be good. If you did not do it, you could do it. Stops 38.50. If you're in it with me, actually it held the original stop. Within two cents. But the spread was changing so much there. So I think this does break the low now. This is just this is just taking a while. So the, here, let's go over this. We're going to talk it through as we're in the trade. And if you didn't do it, you could do it right here. This gap did not rate over 20 points today. Here it is, STX. At an 18.19, has a 50-50 chance of working or not working. So what do I know? I know it's either going to work for quick move and bounce, and we have to take it right out, or it's going to set up later, or it's going to be hard to get the entry. It was all of the above with this today. Okay, so knew the direction was down, but going to be hard to get the entry. And sometimes I usually I don't like dealing with it. But I guess I feel like I've, you know, been doing really well lately and decided to do it. And I feel confident we'll have a good day tomorrow. But you could have done this half size today or not done it at all. Gave it a wide stop. It's got a setup now in the five minute. And it's just going to take a little bit. But the first target will be 37.50. Not 37. <clears throat> So it's up to you if you want to get out there or not. Here we go. Five minute triggered on STX. If you wanted it, you're in it. Don't worry about T that only moved 10 cents. This stock can move. It just, it just was a crappy gap today. But I knew there was no way this thing would be able to support itself and rally despite the market. And the only reason it's probably rallied here, here, STX, is because of the market. Probably the only reason that this even did this at all is because A, fell the first target in the pre-market, and B, the market rallied into the open. Here, STX, got to be in it. Set up on every time frame. Here, pay attention now. Anywhere into a drop. Here, 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 here. I'm not tempting fate today. This is working now. I'm going to get out for a quick trade. Do whatever you want. 37 is a real number. I just... Again, you know, don't know the time it gets there. So the market is weird looking today. I don't know. You know, I would be surprised if we hold this here and rally and go somewhere like over the high today in this gap. But, you know, we're not falling. I'd rather us just fall hard today into support and then gap up tomorrow. But, you know, I don't know if we're going to do it. So if we don't fall, we don't rally, we're just going to sit here. So, you know. Here we go. Under 80 again should be confirmed. I would not lower the stop because where are you going to put it? I mean, you could have put it in at the first place I said, 3840. I 
happened to Dahl? Let's look. This had a little move. This looks like this was a big stop, too. Oh, that wasn't that bad. Dahl had a small move in here. I just don't know if this goes anywhere, really, even. The airlines weren't enough today. They just weren't enough. That was the problem. I had a higher level of conviction in the weakness of the sell-off in STX today than any of the airlines, even though I saw them gapping down. And actually, they everything really rated the same. This is just a better chart here. much much better chart so now we got to stick it through and we got to wait it out I don't think anyone buys this today but we're waiting for it to drop in order for it to drop it's got to have selling so we're waiting for the selling to come into it where do I think this really starts to happen probably under 3750 and under 37 big target in this if it really would do that but we're waiting 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 no one's gonna buy this today except for traders that do gap fills which is not anything that we play and doesn't make any sense and doesn't work so here, STX, be in it if you want it. Here we go, STX. We're trading what the institutions are doing, not what other traders are doing, which is gap fills. So this isn't going anywhere up today. But we got to get more selling into it for it to drop or it's going to stay stuck here. I guess that's why I liked it. I knew no one would buy it. So I think we got that rally because it had a bounce because it hit the target and market here. STX under 60 should get right down to 37.50 and then we'll see how it acts. Here, da, 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 STX. Small trade here today, better than nothing. Really was nothing good today and nothing rated over 20. Here, STX. Hope everybody got it. Yeah, let's just see how it acts when it hits that number. Here's the 37.50. there yet Nine forty-five. time of the day is still early I don't really think the market really has a big move higher today. I think it's going to wait till tomorrow, but it's, you know, it's definitely trying. Wow, nice call I made here in the Google option. Who did it? Write it in the room. I hope someone is doing these. Did anyone do the Google option? This is going to be a big one, people. I hope some of you did it. Dubods, please tell me you did it. Wow, that is going to be a big trade. And I gave the date wrong in the first one I sent out, and then I saw it, then I sent a correction, but you people need to look at a calendar. If I say, you know, July here, 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 STX, I gave the right date as far as the day, not the, not the month. You'll learn that you need to read my mind, and that's the best thing that you can do. <laughs> here, STX. Green Maverick is in it, Google and Baba, Jabaz is in it. Here we go, STX. Do, do, do. Here we go. STX under 60. Should get out of 50. Whether we take it out or not, we're going to have to see how it acts. I might get out. This did not rate well today. We're lucky we're making any money at all. It was crap to do today. The market's very strong. Dubois says, sometimes it's hard to do to read my mind, but you do try to read it. You do a very good job of that, Dubois. You get the award. <laughs> you do. You probably do closer than any student I have. Although Rashawn, who works for me, definitely reads my mind more than anyone. And other than that, there's nobody else on the planet. <laughs> so if there's two people on the planet that can read my mind, it's better than none. Maybe that's why I'm not married yet, because I haven't met a man that can read my mind. When that happens, boom, it'll be instantaneous. Love at first sight. <laughs> I'll be married in a day, in 24 hours. 
Here, under 60. <laughs> All right, we're having too much fun. Focus. This has to wait for the 15 minute now. Let's look at the 30. Koala Bear, did you do it? Who did this who didn't do it? No one should be down. You either did nothing today or actually if you did this up in here, you you could have gotten out. I did not do it up in here. I did it over here. But actually, if you did this here, I mean, you could have just taken it. Made 50 cents, called it a day. In fact, if I had done that there at it, I would have actually gotten out, actually. Susanna did it. Koala Bear did it. Galahad said everyone can read my mind. Galahad, if you could read my mind, you'd be making millions and millions of dollars. <laughs> so, no, you can't read my mind. Galahad, are you in Google? Yes or no? Uh, seven streams didn't do anything today. That was fine because you're new. Green Maverick sentence, smooth trader at a bad entry. That's okay. You're new. Trader Lexi's in it. Mark Mobile's in it. Journey Woman's in it. Galahad's in it too. Good. Barry, did you do it today? Barry's had a rough month. Platform not working, can't get the shorts, didn't miss Monday, miss Tuesday. I think Barry jinxed us having a really, really good one today because he said last night, you better do good tomorrow, Melissa. I'm like, okay, there's no pressure. I try to do good every day. <laughs> I haven't traded in two weeks. You better do good. All right. <laughs> in the future, do not tell me that. <laughs> I almost didn't do anything today because of Barry, but actually this is working. Oh, Barry's in it. Phew. Barry's in it and he's up. <laughs> Here we go. Under 61. Let's see what it's doing here. Kind of want to move the stop, but... Every time we do that, we jinxed it. Let me just look at something here. No, just leave it for now. If you did the entry at 38, though, you could have been out there. Or 38.10, whatever it was, up and when it did the rally. If you did the one with me, we're trying to get it down, but I'm not giving this a lot of time. Here, 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 here. It did not break 60 yet, and it needs to. I mean, it did on the open, but then after that, it did not. Here, here we go. Well, the real target on this is 37 if you want to try to hold it. I think if it gets down to the low, we'll get there. Here, let's not talk. Maybe we're all jinxing it. Wow, this market is incredible. Just seriously? Wow. I mean, I can't believe it. If we hold in this gap today. Hmm. And look, this still looks as dead as a doornail. I know everybody got out of it. Well, did anybody get out of it that did the second trade I called? This is really going to have another big move, too. Let's go. We didn't do this. Look, it flipped. This probably had that one moving out. This looks like it might have another small thing here. The T, if you did it, you were completely on your own. T was definitely easier than this. This was not easy today, which I knew. Didn't have to tackle this. Here, STX under 60. Should We should break 37.50 and get down to the low. Let's see if it does it. Right in the next seven minutes plus. You glad you did nothing because you had trouble following today. Well, today, the really, 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 really today, the rating was not 20. Here, I'll just talk out loud while we're watching this, though. The, I felt that no one would buy this today. And in an 18, 19 rating, it's a 50, 50 chance of working or failing. So based on my read of the chart, that I didn't think any anyone at all would buy the stock today. I didn't think it would not work to the downside. But I thought the entry would be difficult. Why? Because of the rating. 
Part of the rating tells you that you're gonna have a clean entry and a clean setup, and that's gotta be over 20. So crappy entry today in this, which is why we took it, and then it rallied. I widened our stop, it wouldn't have mattered, it still had held 40, and we're also waiting now, you know, almost half an hour for it to drop and break. Everyone's up on it, but here, 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 STX, but we wanna make more. Here it goes, let's see if it breaks 50. Oh, Barry took it out, Barry got out. Barry just had to have a good day no matter what. Here, STX. Here. 50 is the number. Do you see her now? If you looked at the chart, if you looked at it, you would not buy this. You would not buy it. Here, STX just broke 50. See, if you looked at this today, if you were scanning, 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 which we do not scan late, but if you looked, you say, oh, gosh, that's not a buy. You would never buy this. Now, let's see if it just comes up over here, actually. I don't see it. I don't see it anywhere. It's got to get more red in it. But you wouldn't, you wouldn't buy that there. It's not on any scanner, though, yet. It's, got to, it's not red enough on the day. I'm still in it, and I'm, but I'm really going to bar by bar it. I'm bar by bar by barring it. Here, let's blow it up. It's got to keep going. 48. Here, 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 here it is. Keep continuing to go. 48. Here, STX. This is it. If it doesn't break the low, I'm all out at the low. It's heading down there. Here we go. Nice trade, everybody. Whew, did a good job today. Yay. STX. Here. Susanna's out with 900 bucks. Trade Alexi's out. All right. It's fine. Very good. Oh, no, Mark's all out, too. Green Mavericks out too. Forty-three. Too, but I really think it breaks the low. And let's just give it one more little bit here. Here, who's still in this with me? I literally, this has to keep going. What I want to see is this go completely make a big red on the 15 minute, which it's got some time left. Chief's still on it, Koala Bear's still on it, Journey Woman's still on it, Galahad's still on it. Here we go. This is really it, though, people. If it doesn't break the low, I am going to take it. Shower Singer's out. All right. Here, 4342. Come on, come on, come on. I know, I know it's gonna go to 37 now because it it looks great. But I don't want this to bounce at 10 though. Literally, my hand is on the button because I do not want a 10 o'clock bounce. So at 10 o'clock, it could break the low and fall hard, which would be good for me, or it could bounce. And that I do not want. Here, STX. Here it goes. Yay. 
Here it goes. I don't think I'm going to let this get over 45. Here it goes. Come on. Well, I don't know. This is a good call today. I needed a nap. This was hard today. I didn't have to do this to myself. Here, I'm out. I took it. I took it, took it, took it. I don't want to let it get over 45. If you're still in it, I'm going to tell you where to put the stop. It looks great. It, it didn't touch 45, but I thought it might bounce over it. I didn't want it to. Get, I didn't want it to go bounce right in here at 10. Here, it just did bounce over 45. All right, nice trade though, people. We made money today, and it was so hard. There was nothing to do. If you're still in this, what you could do is, if you are still in it, I would lower the stop to 38.20, 38.25. You can't really lower it that much. It's better than nothing. You could lower it down to 38.25, 38.20. I took it, but I got to be honest with you. I think it breaks a low. I think it goes to 37. No one's going to buy this, which is why I did it. But, what I, you know, again, at 10 o'clock, this could bounce. So there's two things going to happen in the next one minute. It's going to break the low and fall hard, or it's going to bounce. And the way this has been trading this morning, which was very hard, it could have a big bounce and then bounce all the way up in the 70s and then, you know, be back up break even. So that, that would just, you know. I took a chance doing this today. I wouldn't have done this if, if I hadn't directed you. But we did a good job. All right, let's look at everything. Profit, uh, Pyro made 389.25, good. If this rallies back and resets up again, you can retake it, absolutely. I don't know what time that would be. This still is very close to the low and looks great. If the gap would have rated better, or if we had the market with us today, then I would have held this on down. But to be honest, I believe we have a good solid day tomorrow. We might be going long. Um, and so why chance it? This didn't get the rating today really over 20. But I, I really, we really did this today because I felt that no one would buy it. And I was right. Um, am I thinking you should hit the exit on Google today? Let's review it. Okay, right in the room. Quickly, quickly, quickly. What's everybody up? Here, I'm going to look it up. Wow, this is another nice call. Getting back into the groove, the groove aroma. Here, I hope everyone did this trade. In fact, every time that I call Google, you should do it. Google and me are like thick as thieves. <laughs> um, let's, look at, let's look this up in here. Every time I call an option in Google, do it. Do it, do it, do it. Um, let's look it up. <laughs> what are you people up in this? Okay, what are you people up in this? For those of you. This is good. Here, let me look at the chart. We'll go back and go over that in a minute, Smooth Trader. No, I didn't have the chart up. Gal heads up $1,000. You're very excited about the class mood trader? Yes, you're signed up already. Shatter Singer's up 100%. Do you want me to give you the conservative answer or the non-conservative answer? What we should do is Galahad should put earplugs in his ears and cotton. Then I'll give you the answer. Then he can take the cotton out, and then I'll give a pretend answer. <laughs> There's two answers. One for Galahad, which is a conservative answer, and one for everybody else. <laughs> Koala Bear said both. Koala Bear, you're not on the option letter, are you? Are, I don't think you are. <laughs> you want the real answer? Hold it. Hold it, it's gonna be a big one. Hold it. 
if you want to get out of it, just flip your money around 100%, but I think it goes way more than that. So here's the next target, 960. I call the 950 strikes. This would be a place that it could haul today. In fact, this is the target today, 960 in Google. But if we have a good positive economic stuff tomorrow and the market holds tomorrow and rallies, this literally could go all the way up here in 970. It could go 20 points with the string. I think that when all is said and done, you've got a week out in this or a little bit one in a day. I think this goes 20 points over the number. This has barely begun to be going. So I called it yesterday. To be up this much in this so quickly is fantastic. But this is, people are going to see here. Really listen to me. People are going to see this today and buy it. I called it beforehand. I'm so good at reading stuff. So people are going to see this today and say Google is a good buy now. They're going to say it's over the resistance and it's trading higher and the market is at the highs. And there was also news out in Google today, I think. So, you know, yeah, there was. There was this morning, I saw it. Anyways, you know, so people are going to buy it today and they are buying it today. And then they're going to see it and they're going to say, oh, Google looks like a buy again here now. Oh, so this is why it's power trending today as well. So I can't fault you for getting out of this today. You're going to make more than what you risk by 100%. But I'm telling you, if you want to hold it through for the big trade, it, I think it runs. I think it runs. I think it runs now after today. So, you know, it's up to you. This could go 20 points with a strike. That would be an insane trade. Shower Singer, how much money would you make if this went 20 points with a strike? If you could have the guts to hold it. To 970 and Galahad you too would you make 20 grand how many contracts do you have who can afford Google other than institutions you do them in those options you didn't do it Abel you could do one contract Trader Lexi usually does one Trader Lexi did you do this koala bear said he wants the truth even if he can't handle the truth <laughs> he cannot handle the truth what is that movie? I forget. That was just on a couple weeks ago. They had a Tom Cruise marathon. Trader Lexi didn't do it either. A Few Good Men. That's what it was. Yeah, this is a really nice call. Look, this is, could any chart be any more perfect than this? This is even better than Amazon. Stock apt up here in their earnings. Gap down, rallied. To do, to do, to do. Made new highs. Did not get up to the number. In fact, in fact, this this situation. In fact, I don't even want to say. Hold on. Let's look and see exactly. I think the twenty seventh. Wow, it's good. I didn't give, give a date out farther than that. Now that I'm looking at it, because the seventh. Now the twenty seventh. I think is earnings for this. Hold on. Hold your horses. Oh, there was news. The news was that they didn't have to pay taxes in France. Not that it matters. Um, doo -ba -doo. No, July 24th. Wow, July 24th. Uh, here, let's just look at something, even though I can't possibly call this. I just... I can't, I can't make predictions where things gap anymore. I have to wait till they gap and then predict it. But I bet that this goes over a thousand points on the earnings. I, I would be shocked if it doesn't. Let me just look at something here. Let's just see what. Let's just see to laugh at ourselves. What the Google one thousands cost out past the earnings date, which is July twenty eighth. They're not cheap. Actually, 102.50 isn't half bad. I would I would be so shocked if this does not get over a thousand on the earnings. I would I would be as shocked as a person could be. But you never know. So what are you gonna do, Shower Singer? Are you going to get out of it if the money are up or not? This is still lower. This is taking a rest. This had a move yesterday, still looks higher, but you could have gotten out of this yesterday. And this. 
Okay, is anyone still in the STX at all? Very happy, what a good day today. Let's look at what's out for tonight. Let's get situated for tonight or for tomorrow. Uh, Journey Woman's still in it? Okay. Tomorrow is Friday. PNC, WFC, JPM, Infi, C. Here they are. Last day to sign up for the class is tomorrow. And I have a I have a lunch meeting tomorrow morning, uh, tomorrow afternoon, so I wouldn't wait, I wouldn't wait till tomorrow. C WFC JPM Infi. Let's look at all these. Every time I call Google, I would do it. Every time. I would never not do any option trade that I call in that stock. I would do every one that I call for the rest of your life, as long as you're subscribed to the option letter. All right, C is just sitting here. Let me just look at all these things. So I don't know for sure, but I, I would love these things to gap down so we could short them. It would be amazing. I don't think that's what's going to happen. I think they're going to gap up. Whether or not they'll be buys or not, I don't know. I'd love them to gap down. But just looking at the charts here, my bias is they all gap up together. I haven't looked at Wells Fargo since that horrible news a couple months ago. I think they're all higher. Let's look at Infi. Uh, whatever happened to um, Coors? If you look at that today, this, I think that should follow through. Oh, we can do this if this works out in our favor tomorrow. Hopefully, I'd like to get a short. Here, cores. What is this doing? This is still lower. Whew. Oh, good. Glad we got out. I mean, this is still going, but I don't want to stick around in this today. All right, market looks higher. And so does everything. Any questions from anyone about anything at all? What's everyone doing in Google? A, are you getting out right now? B, are you holding it? C, did you not do it? Some of you didn't do it, which I'm sure you regret. What else? Shower Singer is going to hold it. Of all the people that could be able to take risk in this, Shower Singer, I think you should hold it, yes. Why not? Green Maverick's going to hold it. Green Maverick's doing all the trades I'm, I put out there. Green Maverick did the CMG. Did anyone get out of the second one in this? The second one that had the big drop yesterday, did anyone get out of it? Susanna didn't do options, but she wished she did. Someday. Uh, yes, seven streams, but it was just this week. You're on the list. Email me. Mark Mobile didn't get any emails in the last week either. But he said he didn't, but then I checked and he was on the list. If that happens, then you need to give me a different email. For some reason, I think certain uh, email things tend to, to go to spams or they bounce because everybody's on the list, but sometimes when they don't get them, I think that the email servers may be blocking anything with stock in it. Stock is anything with the stock domain name is considered spammy, but there's nothing I can do about it. I've thought about changing it, but then no one would recognize my emails. So what am I gonna do? Anything with trading, anything with stock, stock market, trading, trades, money, all of those things are problematic for all the domains for email delivery. All right, any questions from anyone about anything?
Good job today, everyone. Classes this weekend. If you want to sign up, email me. I will be around today. I'm here. I've got a lot to do. Tomorrow, I have stuff to do. So call me or email me today. It's 1015. We had a good, solid day. Let's have a big day tomorrow if we can, which I hope. Um, and then that's it. Stocks, I did. I just did go over the stocks to watch for tomorrow. These are all tomorrow morning. Nothing's tonight. I don't like anything tonight. It's all the banks. C, JPM, WFC. I think they're going to gap up. But I, I don't know. You don't do trades based on me saying that. Although I really believe this ends up going over 1,000 on the earnings. I, if this doesn't, I'd be shocked, shocked, shocked. And I'm sure I'm not the only one that thinks that. Dude, there's nothing you can do until you wait. I would love these to gap down, but I don't think they're going to. We might be shorting empty, or we might be going long the banks. Yes, there would be longs then if they weren't good enough. Oh, what happened to the one the journey woman looked at today that was a long? And I didn't like it. No, it was Cayman Dude. Cayman Dude liked it. No, it didn't work. I didn't like it. How about swooshy? Swooshy for swooshy? What? What are you? <laughs> what? Now you're making up more words. <laughs> now you're making up even more words here. <laughs> All right, good job, everyone. And I didn't have a good night's sleep last night. I'm thrilled that I did so good today. I did not sleep well, too much of my mind, but did a good job. You're welcome, doggy. Okay, have a good day, everyone. Call me or email me if you want to sign up for the class, and I will see you all tomorrow morning. Uh, last night's recording for the webinar is on YouTube, yes. Yes, it is. You should go to YouTube and just subscribe. Okay, have a good day. You're welcome.